Well, the end of the school year means it's time for yearbook signing, but at one school in New Jersey, the annual tradition is now marred by an investigation. Yeah, inside the East Brunswick High School yearbook, a photo that was supposed to show Jewish students was replaced with an image of Muslim students. And the mayor is now calling it a blatant act of anti-Semitism. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates with the story. We know that whatever the intent was, this act was hurtful. People took it and interpreted in a way that has caused anguish and pain. Here is the page from the 2024 East Brunswick High School yearbook that has rattled nerves and raised concerns of bias. One local rabbi posted it to his social media page. The bold print says Jewish Student Union, but the picture is of a group of Muslim East Brunswick High students. That's the first error. The second, the names of the Jewish students whose pictures should have been there were all omitted as well. Right now, I don't see anything that points us to a, an intentional act, but I'm not ruling that out until we complete the investigation. As soon as this was discovered, it raced like wildfire through the school. I don't think that this was an intentional act by a group of people. I think it was probably one person who was trying to make a statement. And through the community, local rabbis responding to the concerns of their congregations. We are obviously disheartened, dismayed, uh, feeling a lot of anger. I do believe that we have to give those who are in charge, those who are responsible, the opportunity to speak, to explain, and to come up with some answers. We have the ability to uh, fix all the yearbooks, and they have the ability to reproduce that page and put it in and make it look just as good as new. The investigation into exactly what happened here is continuing. Dr. Valeski is saying he will make sure it never happens again. And if, if it was done on purpose, the person or persons will be held accountable. If it was a staff member, this could be a loss of job without, without a doubt. Uh, if it was an intentional act. Um, and if it's a student, you know, we would have to look at our student code of conduct. In East Brunswick, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.